What is going on guys, this is Daily Twitch once again. And if you would like to send me any kind of funny clips from streaming, please do so at my email dailytwitch2016. And also if you're looking to leave a comment below this video, please read YouTube's community guidelines. So on previous stream, JD received a call from our crazy stalker, saying that he has her dad tied up in this room. And now if she wants to see him ever again, she has to show her naked chest to thousands of people live on stream. Oh wait, my dad is calling. Hold on. Hello, Papa. Wie bitte? Wenn du deinen Vater lebt, wiedersehen willst. Minutes later, the stalker contacted JD again saying that her father is dead. But one of the chat moderators contacted her uncle and her uncle contacted JD's dad and basically confirmed that he's completely safe and healthy and he was just sleeping. Now she did call the police and explain everything and made a couple of updates on Twitter. Uh, chat, I'm rapid. proud to announce that after years of trying, said and I will finally be having a child. All that practice, wasting seeds for nothing. Unlucky. Uh, that is truly unlucky, but let's see here. Let me take a selfie. How many bitches per hour do you pull with your voice? Yeah. Um, how many bits? I don't know how many. I, I don't really keep track of bits, uh, or, or, or anything like that. Um, huh. Oh, well, anyway, I gotta deliver some guy. fuel. I was asking some, for yeah. a friend. Oh, yeah, no problem. I, I don't really... Guys, how many Stream bits do you think Stream I get saber. per hour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, let me look. Let me look. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is good. You okay? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is good. Yeah. You cannot do it! Right. You literally cannot do it! Right. You physically cannot oh, do it! I'm thinking about this. How are we going to do this? I'm supposed to sit on your... Ah! I'm holding you, I'm holding you, I'm holding you. I'm holding you, I'm holding you. Okay. Pat me, no? Okay. I'm not even fine. You're, you're, you're pressing your hands on your hair. I always like personally Okay, it's really easy, ready? I'm like this. Hey, one, two, Please. three. Okay. You good? You good? Okay, we did it, we did it. Ah! Stop walking! Okay. Okay. Are, you, are you stable? Okay. Yeah. Ready? Okay, we did it. We did it. No, no, hold on, man. Ah, please! Hold on, don't freak out. You're, you're almost there. Don't freak out, I'm just gonna... Okay. Is this it? Yeah, now, now I'm gonna walk back. Ah! Stop walking around! Okay. Okay, okay. One, two... I think you're supposed to be out for me. Three! Okay. <laughs> let me alone. Okay. No, let me go. Ready? Ah! I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. Change title to Wrestling School with S Fan. The problem with streaming is this. Since there's no ceiling in streaming, right? Like, the numbers can go all the way. You could keep going. This number can be 500,000 subs. It can go to millions, right? And because of that, and because you always feel like you could be doing more, it's impossible to enjoy yourself off stream because you always feel like, man, like on my off days, I'm like, man, I should have gone live. You know, when I'm not, I'm not streaming 10 hours a day, I'm like, man, I should have streamed more. You know, when I'm not um, doing things for my stream, I'm like, man, I should be doing this. Instead of enjoying my moments with my family or with my friends, it's very hard. It's very, very hard. And I know almost every streamer deals with this where it's just, you always ha are thinking about streaming, and you're, it's, it's, be it's not a life, it's a lifestyle. You become warped into this world of Twitch, and you can't leave. Um, so, yeah. What is this mic? XQCL. Last month sub sadly. Love you, Chat and Phoenix. Oh, it was a video uh, in the back. I just shit myself, Mr. Cow XQC. I'm going to be an influencer. It's like, it's such a gamble in this industry. That's one of the worst oh things. God. You can be the most entertaining fucking person. Oh my god, like, Minx. Your did your wheelchair just Yeah, move? your wheelchair just no, moved I by swear itself. All my life, it just moved. It just moved by. I, I didn't it see just it. Like, 
<laughs> Your wheelchair just moved by itself, Ming. No, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it, it did. did. I swear. It did. I, I felt serious existential vibes today. It made me really sad. Hearing that three of my favorite people quit makes me really sad. And then also, I, I feel like once everybody has so much scrap, like we have 20k, there are multiple people at 50k, uh, scrap just becomes like very devalued. But I guess it's like only a matter of time because people love farming in that game. So like, I feel like the server needs to add a bunch of new people, otherwise it's gonna get stale quickly. I need to make some friends. I gotta make some friends quickly before everyone dies. Who quit? My favorite person on the server, Vigor, quit. Then Soda Poppin. Actually, Soda Poppin first. Uh, and then also uh, Father Seer. Father Seer was so funny. I'm so sad he's gone. He was like, yo, Asana's fucking hot or some right. shit. I guess that's done now. <laughs> and then, okay. Bro, that's the most hilarious metagaming I've ever seen. Yo, all the women on the Rust community just decided not to raid us on because they'll get cut off from the dick, dude. That's the most insane metagaming like, move I've ever seen. Pizza in the, in the, you raided in the, me? Uh, no dick for you. Yeah, no probably. dick for you. No dick for you. <laughs> Some of the guys are going to stop raiding. <laughs> now I can't raid them. Listen, listen, here's my 30th birthday, and this is how I want it to go, okay? I wake up, mm -hmm. okay? 30th birthday. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You are there yeah. holding a plate of Whataburger, mm -hmm. okay? You have blonde hair, pigtails, okay? You are wearing oversized glasses, okay? A schoolgirl outfit with high socks. Okay, and you say, good morning, uwu, and then you give me my food. I eat the food off your skirt. Immediately you see all these eyes and teeth seem to shiver and quiff, uh, quiver at the immediate reaction. <laughs> you know what I mean, yeah. <laughs> Carry on. Quiff? Quiff, you know, quiff. <laughs> It's been a long, long day. Me my, my last lap, oh, man. Too dry in here for that. Indeed. <laughs> Too cold in here for that. Yeah. <laughs> Quiver and shift <laughs> to the proximity of the fire. Shiver and grief. <laughs> You're a child. Oh. Marissa, a child. <laughs> That's the big bad. That's the big bad. Man, I've been a while. Wow. Oh, it's so oh, it's the exhaustion. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> Doom twenty sixteen. Intro quote. Uh where is it? In the first age. In the first battle, when the shadows first lengthened one stood. He chose the path of perpetual torment. In his ravenous hatred, he found no peace. And with boiling blood, he scoured the umbral plains, seeking vengeance against the dark lords who robbed him. And those that tasted the bite of his sword named him the Doomslayer. That one? Yeah, that that that's that's what that that's that's what I was what I was doing there. It found works for me in this industry, and I really, I just love I love taking time, spending time with my family. It's such a good feeling to just completely just unplug for like a week and just not worry about anything. Hundred percent focus on family, making memories, shit like that. That's what matters. At the end of the day, it does. At the end of the day, you know, when I'm on my deathbed, I want to be able to. You know how they say when you when you when you're this is kind of a morbid thought. But when you die, your life flashes before your eyes, right? I want, I might get emotional, whoa. Come on, Timmy. <laughs> I 
really just, just, I just got emotional. It's not, it's not, it's like,